Welcome guys. Today we are going to see section of a solids. First, I am taking cylinder as a example. Okay, let's see the problem. A cylinder of base 60 mm diameter and axis height is 85 mm. Placed in ground and the axis is parallel to the vertical plane. The cutting plane is 40 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP. And it meets the axis 40 mm from the base. Draw the sectional top view and the true shape of the section. To draw the first step, we have to identify the placement and the position. See here, the axis of the cylinder is parallel to VP. At the same time, the base rests on HP. So that's why we have to draw the first step in HP. It's a circle, it's not having any corners and the edges. So positioning will be a very simple one. So just to draw a circle in HP, that's all. Guys, before going to start the first step, we need to know the pencil usage for this particular unit because, because here we are going to remove some parts of the solid spa. The removed and unremoved portions can be identified after we locating the cutting plane. Before locating the cutting plane, we can't able to identify the particular removed and unremoved sections. So that's why we have to use hatch pencil. We have to darken the unremoved portions with the help of HB pencil. Draw the X Y and mark the VPHP. Use H pencil in compass and measure a radius of 30 mm and draw the circle. Divide the circle into 8 equal pieces with the help of protector. The top base I am giving alphabets A, B, C, D and for bottom base I am giving numerical 1, 2, 3, 4. Now project to front view. The axis height is 85 mm. Draw the axis with the correct axis symbol and draw the outer boundary of the front view. Now give the namings at the front view. See here, for top base I am giving alphabets. So that will be at the top in step 2. The bottom base will be nearer to XY that is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Locate the cutting plane. The cutting plane is 40 mm above the base at an angle of 40 degree to HP. Draw the cutting plane with the help of HB pencil. The symbol of cutting plane is inside the object that is a continuous dark line. Outside the object, a small gap, a small hyphen, a small gap, a big hyphen. And name it as VT. If the cutting plane cuts in HP objects means we have to name it as HT. Now darken the outer boundary of the cylinder. In cylinder, we are not having any vertical edges, slant edges. So, don't dot the imaginary generating lines in the cylinder. After cutting the step 2, now project the new cutting points to the top view with the help of 2 gauge pencil. And locate those points. In this particular problem, the top base is completely removed. So, definitely the outer boundary of the solid will be a visible one. It may be look like a circle. Now, darken the outer boundary in step 1. Because both extreme ends of the cylinder are cutted, so definitely in the top view the circle will be a visible one. Use HB pencil and draw the circle. This is sectional top view. Okay, this is sectional top view. Here we obtain some new surface. To show the new surface in our diagram, we have to draw some hatching lines. Hatching line must be parallel to each other and we need to maintain a constant gap between the lines. Use hatch pencil for hatching. After completing the sectional top view, now we have to draw the true shape of the section. So that's why we are drawing 90 degree perpendicular line. See here, 90 degree, 90 degree perpendicular lines 
to the cutting plane. So now we can able to see the true shape of the section. From each and every new cutting points we have to draw 90 degree projections lines. Keep in mind the projections lines must be parallel to each other. Now draw one new reference line x1 y1 that must be parallel to the cutting plane and perpendicular to the projections line. Now we have to measure the distance and mark the distance. Guys keep in mind it is a very important point if the cutting plane is in VP means we have to measure the distance from HP. Similarly, if the cutting plane is in HP means we have to measure distance from VP. From XY, measure the new cutting point P distance and mark the same distance in the same projector lines from X1, Y1. Similarly, measure the distance of cutting point W from the old reference line X, Y and mark the same distance in new reference line X1, Y1 in the particular projector lines. Repeat the same for all the new cutting points. After the outer boundary with the help of HP pencil and then we have to draw the hatching lines in the true shape. The hatching lines must be parallel to each other and the gap between the lines must be same throughout the diagram. And, and we have to mention true shape of the section and this is sectional top view to mention all the given details in the answer paper height of the cylinder diameter of the cylinder cutting plane angle and in the top of the page we have to write section of cylinders and in the bottom of the page all dimensions are in mm thank you thanks for watching you can